Happy Friday. So I'm in my bed, right? My hair all over the place. I'm trying to cover it. I don't want to be scaring y'all all the time. Um, so uh, I want to tell y'all something. All right, so I'm a thinker. Like, I think. I'm always thinking, okay? I'm always thinking about different things. And I don't know if I ever told y'all, once upon a time, I used to live in San Antonio, Texas, in a little town called Converse, Texas. I miss that place so much. I miss Texas as a whole anyway. It's so much better than the state I'm in. By far, the best. And even though their rent is expensive, their rent in Texas is like the rent where I am right now. But in Texas, they pay you. Like, there's a grocery store called HEB, and you can get paid $16 an hour. So with the rent being a 1000 plus, I mean, you can do it. But, you know, I would have to work two jobs, which would be fine to start off with. But, yeah, so I said that to say this. I'm always thinking, right, and I want to pay this debt off. And I was watching YouTube video at work today, and, of course, it was the van life. And here I am <laughs> trying to figure out, okay, so where would I store my car? You know, I have to get a van, so where would I store my car? I would want indoor, um, ooh, excuse me, excuse me, indoor storage for my car. And then I have access to a shower because there's a gym at my job and we can go to the gym 24 seven. I can most likely stay parked in the parking garage and they will never know a few nights out of the week and I can come to my old places where I have lived. So, I mean, that's not a problem, but it's like, okay, so when you need Wi-Fi, you know, how would you do it? Yeah, I can use my phone, but I think there's another way you can get the Wi-Fi. And then my struggles will be the summer months. I do not like heat. And then, of course, you have to find something that I guess will kind of cool you off, but you got to have something to, you got to have the power in your vehicle. So it's like little stuff like that. But I was thinking, I was like, man, either I can do van life or, you know, I did my little teeny tiny research, not a whole lot to brag about or talk about, and then I thought about Converse, Texas. I just, my overall goal is just to get the heck out of debt. And I'm always thinking, and I'm always trying to figure out the next step of what I should or should not do. And But the bad thing about me, <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to tell you why I'm yawning. The bad thing about me, when I start thinking about something hard enough, and I can figure out how to wiggle my way to get through to get it done, I will. When I tell y'all I'm so ready to just move, like, I'm to the point where I'll, I'm willing to pack up a lot of my, like, I was thinking today, so rent is going up where I'm at. And if you find something cheap, it is trash. It should be against the law for the person to even rent that out. Oh, my God. Whew. So... My rent right now is six thirty. Rent is going up really, really high, and we were already informed last year September because the rent went up. This year September twenty twenty three, our rent is going up to six eighty, and supposedly the six eighty is the max. Now, of course, I already know they're not going to do any type of repairs, but a part of me feels like because of what this man has doing or is doing. And this is only property. I don't see him stopping. Oh, I think I think the only way I'll stay if the rent get in the seven fifties on up is if he starts doing repairs in this in this in this in these apartments. Other than that, I was like, what do I do? And I started looking at different places, and I will have to definitely downgrade to one bedroom, which I don't mind. Um, I would like to have a certain size, but I would have to sell a lot of stuff oh, and just be creative because I was looking at some apartments on Zillow.com and, you know, they were showing, um, the, the floor plans and they had like the 3d looking one and they had one where it had this big living room, but you have a section where you can kind of like cut it off and use it for something else. Like, you know, my mind is always, I'm always like thinking a million miles a minute. So if I have to go into a one bedroom, that's fine. I will definitely do it. 
Um, I would just have to be really creative with my storage and stuff. Um, so yeah, I can definitely, in this one bedroom, it doesn't have a kitchen sink the one I saw. And then parking is more, parking has to, you have to pay for parking and it doesn't have a kitchen sink. So I would be able to run something from my bathroom sink to where the kitchen is because they have a kitchen, they have a, uh, a refrigerator and I think it's a stove or a microwave or whatever. And I will have to run something like a, a whatever. Uh, I was I want to say a hose, and just make like a doubled pan, like a uh, dish pan or whatever, little setup to have a, a sink, and then figure out how to drain it back out. Because I'm not washing dishes in the bathroom. That's just we're not doing that. You know, YouTube got too much too much videos where you can do and learn how to do certain things. So that's why I'm not worried tripping about it. But, um, yeah, um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from that lady sometime next week or so, so I can part, start this job and I'm starting to feel like I may not get the 35 or 30 hours. I, she may have me on there a few days out of the week and definitely on Saturdays. It is what it is. Um, I should have never got myself with these bills, but my car is making a noise. It hums when I turn and when I back up. So I don't know what's about to go down with this car. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, we're going we're gonna to keep going. And hopefully it does not fall apart. Now, if it's that noise that keep going constantly, no matter what time, I'm going to let him listen to it. And we're going to go from there. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to think. Is he going to have to change my all one morning? And I'm going to let him drive the car so he can hear it. But I don't know, you know how long I'm going to keep it, but I'm hoping it'll last me long enough for me to sell it and buy another vehicle, but I won't be selling it to him. So, yeah, so let me tell you why I'm sleeping, right? So I was like, you know what? It's Friday. I get up at 3 o'clock. Let me go ahead and just go home, start in the room. I normally do this room last, but I figured let me start it first because I got so much stuff going on inside that room. I'm sorry. I'm squirming. My back is itching. Um, and I was like, I'm going to go home. I'm going to mellow out. I'm going to give me something to eat. And I went and I stopped and bought something to eat, which I shouldn't have done. And it was just horrible. I didn't enjoy it at all. It's like I didn't have any to eat nothing. But that's my freaking fault because I messed around and ate up the majority of the food inside the house. So now there's some food in the house. So I'm going grocery shopping in the morning and see... Yeah, I'm going grocery shopping in the morning. I'm going to Trader Joe's. I actually forgot about Trader Joe's. So I'm going to Trader Joe's and all these. But I'm supposed to clean up this whole entire house. Was well, tied up, not cleaned up. Um, so tomorrow I can run my errands and do what I need to do. So we'll see what that works out. So I need to go ahead and get this part of that done so I can build my money back up in the house. I'm already down by $40 that I took out. And, um... I could have just bought, bought groceries, and I'm just now thinking about this. It didn't come to me. Customer service with these restaurants are horrible, and so is the food, and I know this, but I still continue to go. I'm not supposed to do it. And the 31st is my last day, Tuesday, of eating. I'm going back to the – it's how you say it. Like, I'll be eating eggs, but I'm not going to be a full vegan. I'm not going to eat meat or nothing. So it's like vegan, it's like vegan keto type Presbyterian thing. Who knows whatever, yeah. So I'm going back to it. I am definitely going back. I'm gonna make sure I have the proper tools that I need. And I remember somebody saying a long time ago to go to Trader Joe's because they have a lot of food that you would see at the Chinese restaurants and stuff. So a lot of this stuff is like uh, vegetables and seafood and and just you know it's like the bag of the different stuff. So I'm going there. So I'm definitely going to take you out tomorrow because I'm going to two grocery stores, maybe three, but I know two for sure, Aldi and uh, Trader Joe's. And then I need to hit up two of my, um, maybe three of my thrift stores because I'm looking for some ITMs. So, yeah, I am sleepy because I had that food. And then this house is nice and warm. It don't feel like an icebox. I normally my house is like, I think temperature is supposed to go on 20 or 30. So, yeah. 
But I'm going to get off because I'm almost at 10 minutes and I'll come back on with whatever I got new. See you in a few. Hello, guys. I am back. And I'm probably going to go ahead and end this video. But so my water is running because I'm about to take a bath. I've cleaned my place, tied it up. And I have my dirty clothes here in the basket at the top of the stairs. And I got my washing machine ready for tomorrow. And I'm going to get up early in the morning, Lord's willing, at a certain time. And I'm going to wash and dry my clothes. And I'm going to be the Trader Joe's at 8 o'clock. I'm doing the DIY um, fabric softener. So I'm going to have to dry so I can let y'all know how it works. That's the TV in the background. I'm running water in the bathroom. I got a washing dish in my hair. So please ignore it. But I came to tell you this. So on one of my videos, my last video, I told you about the strike at Dollar General. So, you know, I went to Dollar General to get me some um, Mucanex DM. Because my, my sinuses are draining like crazy. So I go to the one closer to me. Now listen, ever since Dollar Tree turned into the Dollar 25 Century, um, Dollar General, Dollar Section has been looking real good to me. I think Family Dollar got one too. They do, I'm going to go check it out. But anyway, so I went and got that, and then I saw some other stuff on the Dollar Section I went ahead and got. And I heard the lady tell the other little lady, she said, I'll make it come in tomorrow for a little bit. She said, um... I forgot his name. Some guy named Josh or something. She said he's going to be here. He's going to, I guess he's coming in tomorrow to open. He's going to be there till one o'clock by himself. Dollar Journal. The place where people just boycotted them was, had a strike at one location. They still having this issue. They still having this issue. Dollar Journal is a dirty company. And so is Dollar Tree. And I'm thinking to myself, y'all just had this right up in the paper. So why is it that these people are still short staff and having issues? So he's a, she said he's a floater. And I guess they just, man, these, I'm telling y'all, these companies, these companies, but you know, it's ran by people. So what do you expect? It is crazy. Something else I want to tell you guys. I don't know, but yeah, so I'm um, washing clothes tomorrow, and I'm going to Trader Joe's at Aldi's, and it was something else I need to do, I can't remember, but I know I'm going to attack, I'm going to do my hair, clean my scalp, and do my hair, I feel like it was something else, oh, I'm going to my thrift stores, Salvation Army got records for 75 cents, so it's a lot of them, I'm going to try to go through and see if I can find one or two nice ones, and I need to go ahead and glue that that little piece together on my record player so I hadn't done that yet because I had not anything in my living room um, I did find another fabric store hopefully I can remember to go and visit and try to do a little bit of recording I'm not sure but yeah I'm just I don't know I have no idea let me go check my water I'll be back alright so I'm about to go to bed and end this video there was something I want to tell you guys but I got the tub and I washed off and I don't know what that something was I can't think of what it is okay wait a minute I'm about to go y'all have a good night and I will um see you guys Lord willing tomorrow which is Saturday for washing and shopping and going to their store. So I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Bye.